Hi, welcome to this video about how to report a moderated mediation. In this tutorial I will show you two different ways to report a moderated mediation, for example a moderated mediation calculated with Hayes process macro. We will go step by step through the process output and I will show you which information you have to report and which information is optional so you could report it if you want to go more into detail. For this video there's a companion web page. There you can find two examples how you could write down the results based on the numbers in this video. The first model we'll be looking at is this. This would be process model number 7. That is a moderated mediation where the A path is moderated. The second example is this model. In process it would be model number 15. That is a moderated mediation where the B path and the C prime path are moderated. To report a moderated mediation there are two basic approaches, top-down or bottom-up. With top-down we start with the end result, whether we have a moderated mediation or not, and then we go into the components of the analysis. With bottom-up we start with the components, that is with the A path and the B and the C prime path, and look at the end result, the index of moderated mediation, as a last step. So top-down we start with the index of moderated mediation, because that decides whether we do have a moderated mediation or not. If it's significant we look at follow-up analyses and then we look at the model for the A path and then at the model for B path and C prime path. If we report bottom up we start with the model for the A path, then we go to the model for the B path and the C prime path and then we go to the index of moderated mediation. So our first example where we use the top-down approach. So we go to the end, to the index of moderated mediation. Here's the index of moderated mediation. It's significant, so we do have a moderated mediation. So the first part of our report would be this index of moderated mediation and its bootstrap confidence interval. If this is significant, and only then, we would look at the conditional indirect effects. So we would report our indirect effect for three different values of the moderator or with a binary moderator for both values of the moderator. Here you have a choice. You could report this as a table. I would use those four columns. Or you could write it in text. I prefer the written version, but both are equally OK. Then we go to the A path. In this model with a moderated A path, the key information is whether we have an interaction for the A path. So this is the key number. So the very least you should report is this coefficient and its p-value. And in addition here the R2 change, that is how much variance this interaction explains. I think this is the minimum you should report. If, as in this case, the interaction is significant, you could report the simple slopes, that is the conditional effects for the A path. And here again you could use a table or you could report it in text that is, the effect at different values of the moderator and whether it's significant or not. If you want to go even more into detail, you could report this table. Those are the columns I would report. And in addition, I would report the R-square and the test for the R-square in a table note. Then to the second part of the model, the B path and the C prime path. The most important part for moderated mediation is whether we do have a significant B path. So the, at the very least you should report this number here and its p-value. And I would also report whether we have a direct effect, C prime, so this number and its p-value. If however you have reported a full table for the A path, I would report the full table here again for the B path and the C prime path. Here is a short summary for the top-down approach. Priority 1, you should report this all the time. 1a, you should report this if the index of moderated mediation is significant. Priority 2, that's the next step you could report if you want to report a little bit more. And here again, 2a, if the interaction for the A path is significant. And priority 3, those are additional information you could report. So much for the top-down approach. Now we look at the bottom-up approach. As a short reminder, this is the model 
where we look at the bottom-up approach. So we start with a model for the A-path. The essential information is whether we have a significant A-path or not. So those two numbers or the full table. Then the model for the B-path and the C-prime path. In this case, with a moderated B-path, the essential information is here, this line, interaction 2. Here it's not significant. So we don't have an interaction for the B-path. So we don't have a moderated B-path. And I would re-include the R2 change value for that interaction as well, even if it's, if it's not significant. Since it's not significant, we don't have simple slopes, that is, conditional effects. So we can't report them, because we only report them if we have a significant interaction. When it comes to the direct effect C', prime, in this model we tested for a moderated direct effect, so we would look at the interaction 1 and possibly report it. And the last possibility, reporting the whole table. Then we go to the index of moderated mediation. So we report the index and its bootstrap confidence interval. Here it's not significant because the zero is part of the confidence interval. So we don't report the conditional indirect effects. If it had been significant, we would have reported the conditional indirect effects the same way as in the other model. And since we have the possibility of a moderated direct effect C', prime, we could report the conditional direct effects. However, in this case, since the interaction for the direct effect is not significant, we wouldn't report this information. So again, as a short summary, for the A-path, we definitely report the coefficient and the p-value for the A-path, and we could report the full table for the A-path. For the B and the C' prime path, we definitely report the interaction for the B-path. If it's significant, we could report the simple slopes for the B-path. We could report the interaction for the direct effect C'. Prime. And if we want to go even more into detail, we could report the full table. And for the key information, we have to report the index of moderated mediation. And if it's significant, the conditional indirect effects. And we could report the conditional direct effects. So those are the two possible orders of reporting a moderated mediation. You will find two examples how you could write it down on the companion web page. One example goes into more detail, and the other example is an example how to report it if you don't have that much space available to you, so only with very basic information. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I see you in the next video.